Hello and welcome to Hank Games About Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies. Today taking on our fellow travelers in blue, Leicester City. Look at that, we're at the King Power Stadium. And it's, uh, let's see what the official hashtag is. It's LieWim. Really good official hashtag, FIFA. Congratulations on that. We're going to have Martin Tyler and Alan Smith doing the commentary for the match, as always. I, I hope we've muted them. I find them unbearable. They say the same 14 things. It's not their fault. It's FIFA's fault. It's EA's fault. But yeah, so today we're taking on Leicester City. Very exciting. This is a big game for us because they're all big games now that we might win the Premier League. I've begun to dream. If Leicester could do it, why not us? It suddenly feels possible after a huge come-from-behind victory against Manchester United in our last game. And as you can see, we are in first place. Manchester United and Manchester City nowhere to be seen in the top 10. It's, this, this is a wild season. Anything is possible. Uh, today's topic comes from Monica, who donated to the Project for Awesome. Thank you, Monica, for donating, and writes, My husband and I have both lived in the U.S. since we were toddlers, and we are deeply assimilated into American culture. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm, I'm going to assume that it means that you watch the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest every July 4th. However, neither of us has ever felt fully accepted as American. Again. Oh aligned with my expectations our problem is we can't figure out how to go about naming our future children oh monica i'm so glad that you've come to me to solve the problem of how to name your kids i'm I, i'm listen i'm in the business of solving problems i'm not in the business of naming children it was very difficult for me to name my own children it was all i could do to get their names out i didn't even i tried to not name my children monica i asked president barack obama to name my daughter and he refused and I, in turn, will refuse to name yours. All right. You go on to write, Monica. I'm Hispanic and my husband is Asian, but it wouldn't feel authentic to use stereotypically Hispanic and or Asian names. Neither would it feel accurate for us to use stereotypically white names. <sighs> Monica, this is a difficult problem. And, I mean, I am technically in the business of solving problems, so I'm going to solve it. But I think I might end up solving it the way Barack Obama solved my naming problem, which was to say uh, whether uh, your kid is named Eleanor or Alice, uh, tell them don't forget to be awesome, which probably will be remembered as the single greatest moment of my life. <laughs> uh, maybe like maybe Liverpool coming down, coming back from 3-0 uh, to beat AC Milan in the Champions League final so that Steven Gerrard could lift the uh, European trophy or that. It was one of those two things or the birth of my children or my wedding day. <laughs> I can't. It's one of those four. Nobody knows for sure, Monica. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I would, I'm not sure that I really want to consult with my deepest, deepest soul to find out which of those four days was really, really the best one. I mean, the thing about, right, this is not relevant to your question. So I think that there's a lot of things that you can think about when you're thinking about naming kids. Um, you can think about, so I, what, what do I do? I just, what I want to do is just kick the ball. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a pass and then a shot. <gasps> oh my God, is it gonna work? Oh God, everything but the finish. That was so. Oh wow, it was like something off the training ground. It was so good. And then, just, Anoma is such a talented uh, midfielder in every way except for the scoring way. Like I'm so impressed with him. I've loved. I I, I like everything about our relationship is going great. I feel like he and I are getting closer. I really like the way he plays. He's, he's great in training. He's a wonderful teammate. It's just the scoring is the one issue. And I can live without, I can live without the scoring, especially when we can bring on Vinny Thrill in like the 80th minute to do the scoring for him. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Anoma. So here are the things that I would think about in naming your kid. Like I would think about your your heritage and your family not just um in terms of well I, I i can't i really feel like i can't speak to your experience in terms of you know be in in terms of being an immigrant in terms of the relationship that you have with the names that you may have or may have inherited or whatever like i just i, I just feel like massively unqualified on that front but I do I, I do think it's helpful to like or it can be helpful like one of the things that can be cool for a kid is to feel like their name means something whether it means like a TV show that my mom loved or it means 
my great great grandfather's middle name or whatever like i think i think that stuff can be useful because it connects a kid to some part of some part of their past to like some part of th their family it gives them a, it gives them a, it, it gives you a sense of of who you are the other thing i would say about this is that like names are are important but like it's it's oh my good god wow bald john green has just borne witness to an amazing goal from Mother John Green, and he kisses the badge. He loves AFC Wimbledon. I mean, that's beautiful. It's, I lo I, we're going to do more of running to the camera when we score goals. Look, Just look at this finish, Monica. Hold on a second. Maybe you should name your kid Other John Green because, good God, that was beautiful. Don't name your kid Other John Green. That would freak me out. And also, I think, like, I was about to say that names aren't that important, but actually, if your kid's first name is Other, and their middle name is John, and their last name is Green, and then they have another last name, which is your last name, that is, that is weird. So, like, it, I, I get, I get, like, I, I get, like, feeling like you're in, in between spaces, and then, and then, therefore, like, you don't, you know, like, you don't know which of these, like, which of these identities to inhabit when thinking about naming your kids. The thing that I have tried to go or that like we we discussed when we were naming our kids a lot is that we wanted them to have names that would be uh, like good for them um, rather than like name like that like our my my inclination was to was to come up with a name for the kid that I would like that would be like good for me by the way I mean Frankenstein really great guy <laughs> not a great finisher probably should have just like taken my chances there with a pass or something because wow that was poor especially when you compare it to other john green's like 20 yard laser coutinho-esque strike so i i i wanted like my my initial feeling was like i want that i want to name my kids something that like i think is cool and sarah's sarah's counter argument which i think was a was a compelling argument was that um we should name our kids something that um they will like or that like will be will be a good name for them will be a useful name for them but also it's just an inherently weird thing because you are choosing you are choosing a word that, like, your child will be known by when you know nothing about your child, right? Like, I, I remember, like, we didn't want to name Henry until he was born as if he were going to come out of the womb and we were going to look at him and be like, oh, yeah, now I know this kid. <laughs> like, you don't know them at all when they're born. Well, if that had gone in, I would have, I would have had to cry and laugh. It was really, had a lot of power behind it, but... By the way, Rafa's back in goal. He was. He, I, I pulled him in the last game for just for, just for being an idiot. But I, you know, my relationship with Rafa is like that relationship in Brokeback Mountain. I wish I knew how to quit him, but I don't. This is good. This is promising. Nope. So yeah, that's all I would say. Is it's gonna? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's really. It's a hard, weird thing to like have to name a child. It's a lot of pressure weird it's a weird but it's it, it is in some ways it's like the first weird thing that you have to do as a parent in a series of incredibly weird things like you have to make all kinds of decisions for this creature that are extreme that have huge import and you have to make them with very limited information like there is no like everybody who says there's like strong data about how to parent how John Green, how can you make that other shot and then miss that shot? Look at this. Look. Ugh. I mean, I even gave you a second to get your foot down. I know it was your weak foot, but still. Mr. Managerino is disgusted. And I have to say, looking quite slim. Not to brag, but yeah, it's looking good these days. Maybe it's just the jacket. So, like... To me, parenthood is just a series of like the incredibly difficult decisions where you don't really, you don't really know. Come on, Anoma. Oh my God, you cannot score to save your life. I mean, I could have finished that. Ugh. I mean, real John Green, me, could have made that. It could have kicked that ball into the net. It was three yards away, but 
whatever. Life is full of minor disappointments. We're still winning the game. But you have to wonder, are we going to live to rue all of these missed opportunities? Because we have had three or four very clear shots on target. So clear that, like, a couple of times I have, like, begun to count them as goals in my head. You know? Like, I take the shot and I'm like, well, it's 2-0 now. Except it's not. It's not. It's still only 1-0. Because... We just have not been as clinical as I would like. Listen, I'm not here to complain about the incredible performance that uh, that other John Green has put in in this game. It's been great. But I think we all know it could have been better. So, like, for me, the, the main thing that naming, or one of the things that naming did was, like, teach me, again with a weak foot shot, was teach me about all of the ways that... Um, I was going to want, like, I was going to have to make decisions for my kids that, like, might end up being bad decisions, and then I'd have to go back and make different decisions. And that's the other thing is, like, sometimes you name your kid, and then later you decide, you realize, like, oh my God, this is this was not a good decision. Like, this was not a good name. And then you ba you have to figure out a, a way to rename your kid. Like, my brother Hank is named William, but they ba they ba they basically renamed him. They were like, no, this is not going to work. Speaking of not going to work, good save from Rafa. You are excited and you should be. Um, but yeah, I mean, I. so you think you're done when you've settled on a name, and maybe you're not. So uh, it's just, but this is, this is also true of every part of parenthood. I told you we were going to rue. I told you we were going to rue those missed opportunities. And then I got to deal with this, this celebration. I hate that celebration. I don't like Jamie Vardy. I don't, I don't like it when they hug their manager. It makes me feel lonely. So I feel like I don't get hugged very often. Nobody's ever thinking about hugging me. God, Jamie Vardy. So clinical. Is there, is there, is there a human being on Earth? I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um, I don't like Jamie Vardy. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't pretend otherwise. He's an effective striker for Leicester City. But, like, he's a player where if he came to my club, I would be not that psyched. Let's put it that way. All right, now we've got to get... It's time to get clinical, boys. This is the kind of good hold-up play that I've been looking for, and then that's a nice ball to John Green. Oh, and then he... Oh! Oh, God! Everything but the finish again. All right, it's another corner kick. Casper Schmeichel's feeling really good about himself, and I don't think he should be with that haircut. So, I think that... I think he's. I think he needs to take it down a notch. Get, get in there, boys. Oh, wretched. Oh. They keep showing that guy as if he's famous, but I don't. I feel like I've never seen him before, I, and I, I watch a lot of football, so I don't know if he is famous. My relationship with my kids' names, which I do feel qualified to talk about, is that we spent an inordinate amount of time thinking about it before they were born and now we don't spend much time thinking about it at all i i think part of like part of what you're doing is you're figuring I, like or at least okay i don't want to speak for you monica part of what i was doing when i was when we were thinking about names is i was thinking about what kind of like what kind of parent I wanted to be, what kind of life I, I've been fouled in the box. Anybody? Anybody? Referee? No? Okay. Um, I was thinking about, like, what kind of... I, I, was, I, I was partly trying to imagine what parenthood would be like. Like, what would it be like to raise a, a kid, you know, in, in this culture with the, the background that they were going to have, with the experiences they were going to have, um, with the, you know, with the identities that were going to be built into who they were based on who Sarah and I were. And I was trying to, like, understand what does that mean? Like, what, it, what are the, you know, and, and I think that was a very productive exercise, even though, um, you know, like, then the actual kid is born and you're just, like, thrown into, at least at first, like, none of, none of this matters that much because they need to feed every two hours and, like, you, you have to figure out a way to, um, to do that, like you, it, you know, like the, the immediate after effects, like you name a kid and then for at least like the next like eight weeks, I barely even thought the kid's name because I was so busy, like trying to keep everyone 
alive and well and like just trying to figure out the like biological basics of like human survival um is only it's it's really only oh oh it's off the post wow okay all right this is this is a this is a dangerous and desperate time and we're gonna what are we doing here in the 83rd minute after they hit the post what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off john bennett and we're gonna bring on dicko He's a reliable goal scoring threat, and we probably brought on a Noma too late. And then we're going to take off Oreo baskets and bring on. I'm out of substitutions. So I'm just going to do those two things. Great. All right, here we go. Um, I don't know that Dicko is actually going to get to come on because of the, the, the game moves so fast, but come on. I really, I really don't want to lose this game after I worked so hard to beat Manchester United. I think they're offside. All right, so we're going to have five minutes of Dicko. And then we're going to see where we get. We're going to see where we get. But I think the exercise, the thinking about names exercise, is helpful in the sense that like, it helps you think about the kind, the kind of parent you want to be. And, and it helps you think about like, how, your, like, how you want your kid to, f to, 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 to live in the world where they're going to find themselves. It also helps you to think about like, the world in which they're going to find themselves. Um, which, which I think was kind of embedded in, in your... Uh, oh, <sighs> oh my God. Don't go hug the manager again. It hurts my feelings. Will no one think of me in this moment? Oh, God. I want to be surrounded by my players in sweaty joy. Oh, and Dreger. It's a great name, too, unfortunately. It's his first goal in the Premier League. It's heartbreak for Wimbledon. Monica, you deserved a better game than this, and I apologize. I'm embarrassed, heartbroken. I'm hurt riggered. Oh. Oh, it's terrible. We did all of that work to win a game, and then we lost a game in just the stupidest possible fashion. I'm taking out Rafo, even though he's better than my other goalkeeper. I'm just mad at him. So you won't be seeing Rafa around here for a while. How did you not score that goal? All right, best wishes. Thanks for watching.